I think as a student last time there were many programs that was being offered um, for us. We had more CCAs definitely. Now I think the students are really exposed to a lot of programs. There's like SWOT programs for the NT students and then there's mm. um, OEL. So the students are uh, they have um, they already had um, rock wall uh, level one certification for rock climbing and then they also have level one kayaking. Mm. Yeah, which I feel that it's a very it's a good opportunity for them to try out. In First Payo, we don't just learn uh, inside classroom, but then we went out to learn a lot of things like from the nature and also the environment. Uh. So I was the one of the participants uh, in the total defense learning journey. So I felt that um, it's a good exposure for the students and also for me uh, because like uh, do, during the total defense learning journey, uh, we actually learn a lot um, about the past of Singapore and also the things that what the things that built Singapore today. Uh. So it was an enjoyable experience uh, because uh, during that time with my friends, uh, um, like we were the naughty ones. Uh. So basically we ran around and how say like um, create a lot of nonsense during that time. Uh. But then it was a good experience uh, because um, I believe it doesn't happen again uh, when you grow up. So in your secondary school years, it's a good opportunity uh, to go out for this kind of uh, learning journeys. Uh. In a way, we were in the last class of the Sec 3 Express, as in we were 3-3, three, 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 so we were the last class. But to be honest, I think we've, it felt like some of, the some of the students in my class were like the most hardworking, including her, Joanne, Tiara, all these people. And I, I felt very lucky to be in that class instead of being in 4E1 or 3E1. I felt very lucky to be in the 4E3 and 3E3 class. They always motivated me and the class also to study harder, to be focused on our future. I don't know how these guys have a like clear view of the future that what they want to do and stuff. Although like being a guy, we are like more of distracted and stuff. But these girls really like put us into focus and stuff. I really feel lucky being in the class. And the teachers also happen to be like the best teachers I've seen in my whole life. Um, I was from band, symphonic band, and I remember that CC it was quite quite strict. Every time we're not allowed to be late, and there was this time we uh, that day we have to perform for the national day, and we came here to uh, prepare for everything at 5 a.m. in the morning. It was quite tiring, but I find that time quite enjoyable for me. And even in JC, I continue to go to symphonic band. My first day, I was having this culture shock because it's considered a neighborhood school and it's very, a very small population and the school is very small. But after a few days of uh, spending time in this school, I started to get very comfortable with it because um, because of the small population it makes you feel more homely and the teachers are very nice and the way they treat you with care and concern it really touches my heart so I feel that this school is really really it's very close to you like your family once you get to know with Got to get to know with your teachers and especially the principal. The principal just gives me this impression of him, like he is a very kind person. On the first day of school, he was very nice to all of us. He makes this school very homely, and you feel very comfortable in this school, not so pressurized. Actually, I never thought I would say this when I first took look. Uh, took over the school, uh, I understand that the school is uh, facing a falling student enrollment. But I think the one other thing I'm going to miss about is actually the, 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 small, the smallness of the, of the school. I coined the term small is beautiful, you know, I talked a lot to my staff about being small has advantages, you know. I've shared a bit about the challenges but the advantages is definitely there. Uh, I will miss that because I don't think uh, uh, unless I get a smaller school than this, um, you know, my interaction with the students, my, um, 
how I, I got to know them uh, a lot a lot more, a lot deeper because um, I don't have a lot of students to begin with and uh, I find that because every morning I, I do wait for them in, in, at the school gate welcoming them to school uh, that gives a different dimension to how I get to know them and being a very very small school um, it's actually quite easy to, to almost like interact with everybody you know in, in, in a day with plenty of them because they could walk through the main gate. Um, so that is one thing I'm going to miss about the school despite all its challenges.